Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today is a very random mix matched haul. I've got a few pieces over the last few weeks that I thought I would share with you. I do pick things up and then usually share them on my Instagram page but I do want to get into more of a habit of sharing things on my YouTube channel. So I've got a bunch of things from different stores that I've picked up and if you do want to see what I got then just keep watching. Mm. Firstly, I'm having such a nice Sunday so far. It's mid-afternoon and I'm drinking a gingerbread coffee, decaf, obviously I don't drink caffeine. And this is absolutely, I mean, I never seem to get my ratios spot on, but I've just put the perfect amount of sugar-free gingerbread syrup in here today and it tastes incredible. Um, and then another thing that's just made my day really, really nice is I was putting my son down for a nap earlier and he just did the cutest thing so we co-sleep he sleeps in the bed with me still um he's 14 months i don't know if it, that matters but yeah he's 14 months and i was putting him down for a nap and while i was giving him a feed because i do still breastfeed he got the giggles randomly and he just couldn't stop laughing and i just thought it was the cutest little thing and it was just like laughter really is so infectious i don't know if anyone's seen that i think it's a coke advert, Coca-Cola advert, um, where there's a guy on a bus or a train, I can't remember what it is, and he's just hysterically laughing, and it pans around to everybody else that sees him laughing, and they start to laugh themselves, and that was so the case earlier, it was just the cutest little thing, and he was doing it for a good five minutes, I apologise if you can hear a dog barking, that is our dog right outside the bedroom window, so sorry about that. Mm. I don't want to give this coffee up, oh my goodness, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm not really sure how to start. I think I'm just going to start talking randomly about things and see where we end up. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about is my nail colour. So I have gone for black nails, if you can see. So I've gone for black nails and they're just in a short square style and I really love the way they came out. I think they look really good. I'm a big fan of dark nails in the autumn. I was torn between doing a French tip and I thought no, just go for some black nails. I saw this YouTuber that I've literally only just discovered in the past two days and I've probably binge watched um, a good few months worth of her videos. And she had dark nails, which inspired me to have my nails darker. She had like a really rich chocolatey colour. It wasn't black, but it kind of looks black on camera. And so I just, I just went for the black. So yeah, the first thing that I'm sharing with you is my nail colour. So it is Rita's Black in number 900. And this is by Rimmel London. And it's their 60 Second Super Shine. And this is just a really nice jet black colour. There are so many different versions of black that you can get, black nail polish. Because um, I only picked this up yesterday and my fiancé was like, I, I picked up three different colours. There was a grey black, this black, which I consider to be a true black. And then there was also a really deep burgundy. And he said, what's the difference? He said, you've picked up three identical nail polishes. I said, you really can't see the difference. So this colour is super opaque, I only put one coat of this on my nails and then I just topped it with a gel coat like I always do. I usually do do a gel manicure but I didn't want to wait for a black gel polish to be shipped to me so I just picked something up from Superdrug yesterday and this was really affordable, I think it was only £3.50 or £3.99 so really really good quality nail polish and super affordable. So I'm going to stick with the things that I'm wearing currently at the moment as well so the next thing that I wanted to show you is actually the ring that I'm wearing so this is an absolutely stunning ring and I got it from Amazon and this is just so incredibly beautiful. I did actually buy it to wear on this hand. I don't know if many of you know, I 
kind of put it more on my Instagram page that I do like to interchange my um, engagement ring quite a lot. I like to wear different star rings and especially since having my son, I lost a bunch of weight and my original engagement ring doesn't actually fit me anymore. I, I like to switch up my style before. Anyway, I like to change from different metals, different styles, engagement, engagement and wedding band. I'm not married, but sometimes I do wear a wedding band. It just, I just like the look. Um, but yeah, this ring, I'll show you up close, is plated sterling silver, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I will try and leave a link to it down below so that you can check it out for yourself if you do like it. And it's just got round stones around the entire band. And I just think it is so pretty. I would say if you did want to get this ring, I would definitely size down one because they do run quite big. Like I say, I bought it for this finger and it fits on this finger. And these two fingers, they're a size apart. So this finger is one size larger than my left hand. I don't know why. I don't know if that's something that's normal, but my left hand, for some reason, my fingers are thinner on my left than my right. Strange, but yes, they are. Um, and I haven't had any issues with this making my hand itchy. I haven't had any issues with it tarnishing, turning my finger green. It doesn't do anything like that, as you can imagine, because sterling silver is obviously great quality. And plated sterling silver, you can't really go wrong with that. It was very budget friendly. It looks so much more expensive than it actually was. And the shipping was really good. It didn't take very long to get to me. I think it took maybe a week, maybe a little bit less. Um, but definitely didn't have to wait too long, which is really nice because now I have this on my hand. And I still catch myself staring at it. Like every time, especially when I go into our bathroom, the light in there just makes it sparkle so much. It is so, so sparkly in person, and I just love it. Another thing that I just wanted to add in really quickly, I do apologize about the state of my hair. It's greasy, it needs washing, and it is a hair wash night tonight, but that is why it is slick back for now, because I didn't wanna do anything with it, and I don't have any dry shampoo, so. It is what it is, but I feel like I look very grungy today. This isn't my usual style, but yeah, I do feel like I look super grungy. Um, but that kind of transitions me on to the next thing that I wanted to talk about, and it is this really nice checkered shirt, and I got this from Boohoo. So I've been looking for a shirt like this for a really, really long time, and I've tried a couple of different sites. Not really been very impressed. They're either really itchy, um, they don't fit me well, or... They're just not the exact print that I want. This one I absolutely love. It's a mixture of kind of like nude beige cream, um, some dark brown. It's even got a little bit of blue in there. It just is so, so nice. And it's kind of right in between like a warm, thick shirt and like a really thin, flimsy shirt. It gives you just enough warmth and it is absolutely perfect. Fits me perfectly as well. This is exactly how I would want it to fit. I got mine in a size 10 and I am typically an 8 slash 10. I would say that these do fit true to size or if you do want an extremely oversized look, maybe size up just one. But yeah, like I say, I got mine in a size 10 but they are oversized shirts. So they are marketed as an oversized shirt so you can stick to your true size. But yeah, I really love it. The buttons are just simple basic buttons, but they're actually in blue, so they tie in with the blue obviously all over. And the thing that I love about this shirt is it actually has two breast pockets, which I don't know why, but I just think that's a really cool touch. So I'm gonna stick with Boohoo, and the next thing that I got is this shirt or this sweater. This is super cute. This I've been saying is my Cruella de Vil jumper. I really like the black and white contrast on it and it just fits really nicely again it's not too thick you can layer it because it's not going to keep you too hot but it keeps you warm enough obviously now that the weather has got a little bit colder i'm showing you the back of it because this was actually in the wash because i have my son's porridge down the front of it because he hit the spoon out of my hand and i got porridge all down my front so yes it needs a good wash but this is really cute i got mine in a size medium and it fits me perfectly and then the last thing that I got from Boohoo, I don't even know if you're ready for these, these are ridiculously cute and super functional, which 
is very rare I have to say. So these are the Disney Mickey Mouse trainers and these are just so stinking cute. I think they're called like the Disney um the Disney graffiti style trainer. I'm not really quite sure. Um but they're a chunky white trainer and they've obviously got this graffiti style print but it's all Mickey Mouse and Disney which is so so cute. It's got love MM the little Mickey Mouse sign. It's got Mickey himself. It's just really, really cool. And the thing with these as well is they actually are super, super comfortable. Now I have bought a few different pairs of trainers over the past few months and let me just see, three pairs of them I don't wear and another two or three pairs I've returned because I just can't seem to find trainers that are very comfortable but these honestly are so squishy, so comfortable, they don't hurt my feet at all and I do think that I have a wide foot, not that I've ever had that confirmed but I think my feet are quite wide because my shoes seem to rub quite a lot um, but yeah they fit absolutely perfectly and they're so comfortable to walk in so I would highly 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 suggest these and I think they're actually on sale at the moment on Boohoo's website. I think they're around £22. So if you do want them, I would grab them because they are so, so, so good. And I can't recommend them enough. So I think I'm going to stick with shoes for now. So the next thing that I wanted to show you guys are these boots from Ego. These are super cute. They're definitely not the colour that I thought they were when I looked on the website. But that's my bad. I probably ordered them in a rush and didn't really pay too much attention. Um, they're these nude, chunky style Chelsea boots and they're really, really nice. They've got silver hardware on them. They've got a chunky sole. I've still got the sticker on the bottom of mine. I forgot to take that off. And I got mine in a size five. I would say I'm a four and a half to a five. Um, and these fit me excellently. Obviously you have to take into consideration if you're gonna be wearing socks like normal socks or thick socks with them um, but they've got this stretchy material up the sides and there isn't really too much to say about them they're really comfy really nice they fit really good on the leg and they're just a good boot to have and I didn't have any boots in this colour I have a lot of black shoes um, and maybe dark brown shoes but nothing like this so I just kind of wanted to step up my shoe game and get these and I have um I already have some like black biker boots so yeah I just wanted to get something a little bit lighter so that I'm not constantly always wearing black and these are just super adorable, super comfy and I really really like these and Ego's website is freaking ridiculous. The quality of the stuff that you get is amazing for the price like at the moment I think they've got like 50% off their whole website. And these were really affordable. I just can't get over the fact that they're so well made and they were so cheap. I love going to Ego for my shoes. And that segues me into my next item, which are these adorable slippers. So these are black faux fur slippers. And what I love about these is they have the strap on the back. I've wanted a pair of these for so, so long. And Ego do a ton of different colours and designs as well. I think they've got like zebra print, they've got kind of like Louis Vuitton inspired ones, all sorts of different block colours like this, um, you know, like cream, pink, black, all sorts. And these, again, like the boots, are ridiculously affordable. I think these, I think these were under £10. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on it, but they're really good quality, super, super comfy. Yeah, and they fit amazingly. The strap keeps them on my foot as well, which is a bonus. I do feel like I am looking super grungy recently because I have black polish on my toenails as well. And then obviously when I wear these, um, yeah, definitely loving the darker colours this, this autumn winter. So yeah, these have been my new best friends to keep my feet warm because it gets really cold in this house. So I have to wear slippers all the time. So speaking of staying warm, I thought the next thing that I would show you is a coat that I picked up from New Look and it is this gorgeous teddy coat. So I was in town the other day and I had some time to kill and I walked in, saw this and then looked at a sign above all the coats in this section and they were selling for £25. £25 for a really good quality teddy coat is unheard of, especially 
at like a high street store like New Look, you know, H&M. It is crazy, crazy good. Um, I did check the website because I wanted to link this exact coat and I do think the price has gone up. It's 20, I think it's 29.99 now maybe. Um, so I don't think that they've got the sale on, but if you visit in store, I don't know if they're still doing them for 25 pounds, but they had a ton of them. Um, and I just got it in this gorgeous kind of like sandy beige color. It is so warm. It's like walking around in a giant blanket. It is absolutely amazing. And I feel so, I feel so bougie when I wear this coat as well. Like as soon as I put this coat on, I just like instantly have an attitude. <laughs> like that's what my fiance says. He says it's like my Derek Trotter coat. Um, but it just fastens with two poppers and then it's just got two decently sized pockets on either side or like one pocket either side. But yeah, it's nice and long. It's like a midi length coat and it is just ridiculously warm and I love it. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to show you is actually a handbag that I picked up from Accessorize and it is this gorgeous baby. So this is their, I'm not sure if it's tan or brown, so this is their um, quilted faux sheathing handbag. So it's just got the faux sheathing trim around it and then it's got a quilted print on the front. I think a really cute touch to it is that it's got this little faux sheathing heart dangly chain pendant thing um i just think it is super super cute and i wasn't even looking for a handbag when i went in the shop but i got it so quickly as soon as i saw it i was like yep and i really don't need to be buying any more handbags um but unfortunately i think i have a little bit of a handbag addiction and by the looks of the views on some of my videos i think that the people that subscribe to my channel i think you have the same issue as me and you know what it's fine we're okay it's not hurting anyone is it so yes i think that we can all say that we definitely love our handbags um it's just the same on the back really obviously you just don't have the charm and it's really really spacious on the inside as you can see so it's just got one big full open compartment and then it's got like a zip section at the back and I can fit quite a lot in here I don't really need to take a nappy bag out when I take this bag I can probably fit everything that I need to you know nappies wet wipes toys snacks that sort of thing his beaker and then all my stuff in there as well so this is kind of like my little one-stop shop if i want to go out and have a bigger bag i can use this and it's just super stunning and i've only worn this once so far actually but i need to bust this baby out some more i have got another handbag to show you but i think i'm going to mix it up a little bit and i'll show you something else first so i just wanted to show you these impress press on nails these are just kind of like backup nails i always like to have at least one pack of press on nails in my beauty drawer in case i really don't feel like doing my nails and i want a cute manicure really quickly i'm not a huge fan of the ones that are pre well they're not pre-glued for you they're kind of like they have the stickers on them um i'm not a huge fan of them because i feel like they sit a little bit higher on your nail bed i do prefer the ones with glue but obviously these are a bit safer for your nails and i just thought they were absolutely stunning and they just look like this very fall autumn winter appropriate so there's just like that deep color and then they've obviously got the accent nails with the glitter so it's kind of like a like a deep greyish purple colour um, and then the glitter I can see some red in there, some gold, silver, maybe like a little bit of purple as well but I just thought these would be really good to have on hand and like I say these are the impressed nails and I don't really like long nails. I kid you not I used to have nails that were ridiculously long um, and I don't know how I did anything with them but since being a mum I joined the short nail club so I only ever get short press on nails. Okay so I'm going to show you a little bit of jewellery now. So one thing that I picked up, this was from Accessorize and I actually got this on the same day that I got the Sherling, the faux Sherling handbag and it is just this really cute sterling silver ring and it just looks like this. I just really love super simple bands like this for my pointer finger i just think they look really cute 
and I will try and link this but I did have a look on their website and I can see one that looks similar to this but not identical but it is the same price so I can link that one because at the moment I can't find this exact one um, but this was £15 and then sticking with rings I got this gorgeous twisted ring or I'm not sure if it's twisted or knotted twisted knot ring from Ana Luisa and it looks like this and it's so, so pretty. And I'm seeing Ana Luisa everywhere at the moment. So obviously they're a very sustainable style brand. Um, their packaging is amazing. And I really love, you get like a little pouch um, to put your jewellery in. And I just think it's really nice. Like I would travel with that pouch. I would put all my jewellery in that pouch. I think that's really handy to have. But this is such a gorgeous ring. I think it's so, so pretty. I see this on everyone. I think like every influencer, YouTuber, blogger, Instagrammer, whoever, I feel like everybody seems to have like a ring like this, whether it's from um, Masoma or Ana Luisa or any other website, but I feel like a lot of people have this star ring and I kind of felt like I was missing out. So I'm somebody that doesn't jump on the trend while it's a trend. I jump on it after when it's like done. Yeah, I don't know why. So then the next thing that I'm going to show you is actually a pair of pajamas. So as we all know, the festive season is upon us and I wanted to get a matching set of pajamas for me and my son. My fiancé does not want to take part in any of those shenanigans, so it was just me and my son. And I actually did buy us the matching pyjamas from The Range, but I have... No, it's not The Range, sorry. I bought us the matching pyjamas from B&M, and I have to say the quality was not ideal. So I actually let my son wear them once or twice, maybe twice, and there ended up being a hole in the trousers. So I wanted to get some new ones, so I headed on over to Tesco's, because Tesco's has incredible clothes i feel like for women children men i feel like they've got a lot um and their christmas pajama range is actually super good it definitely surpasses the ones that i got from b and um so i got these i think i'm on a disney kick at the moment so i got these mickey mouse christmas pajamas so the top looks like this and then the bottoms look like this Aren't they just so cute? And then, obviously, I'll show you my son's. So I like to get his pyjamas so that they're a little bit oversized on him because he is 14 months. I usually like to size up one or two sizes for him so that he can be nice and comfy. So yeah, there's his top. And his trousers. And he has worn these already and he looks super, super cute in them. I'm going to stick with the Mickey theme as well. I don't know why I'm buying so much Mickey Mouse stuff. I've actually just bought a two pack of just kind of like basic jogging bottoms for my son. And they're Mickey Mouse as well. It's just, I honestly, I don't know what's going on with me at the moment. But I didn't think that would be very interesting to show you. So I left them out. It's not like a one year old's clothing haul. But I did just want to show you a Christmas jumper that I picked up for my son this year. And it is... Mickey Mouse again. It's just so stinking cute. He's already worn it to a family dinner and then we've got another family dinner actually next Sunday so he's going to wear it again. And then obviously he's going to wear it on Christmas Day. We want to get our wear out of it. Um, but it's just so cute. It's got Mickey on the front. He's got a very fluffy festive Christmas hat and the Christmas hat has a little pom-pom on the bottom. I just think that's so sweet. It's so, so cute. I absolutely love buying my son new clothes. I need to calm down, really. So I've just got two more things to show you. So the next thing is a card holder that I picked up. And coincidentally, my last video that I did, um, it was a Katie Loxton unboxing. And I got a card holder from there. And I wasn't meaning to get this particular card holder, but I saw it in TK Maxx. And it was an extremely good price. And... It was gorgeous as well, so I just had to grab it. I think it was, I think it was like 54% or something. No, not 54%. I think the original price was 54 pounds and I got it for like 20 something pounds. But what I will do 
is everything that I've mentioned today I will leave linked down below if I can find it. I did manage to find a link for this card holder which is really good and it's on the TK Maxx website so you'll be able to get the exact one that I've got. They've also got it in like a berry burgundy type colour so um, if you want to shop that one obviously you can but they're the only colours that I could find for this particular card holder. Um, so yeah, it's just this gorgeous Kurt Geiger card holder. So it's in a faux leather crock print. And it's got Kurt Geiger written on the front in gold. And then the hardware is gold. And then obviously you've got the zips. And then it just pops open like this. So I have my most used cards, which is my debit card, credit card, and Tesco's club card. And then it does say Kurt Geiger London on the inside. And then there is a section here where you could put a picture. I have just ordered a picture to actually go in here from Snapfish. And that should be here in the next couple of days. So once I get that, I'll pop a picture of my son in here. Can't wait to do that. That's the whole reason why I wanted to get this particular card holder. So that I can have a picture of my son in there. I mean, I'm with my son pretty much 24-7. But still, I want to have a picture of him in my card holder. And then it just has a section here where you could put cash. But I don't really carry cash. So it just has a couple of receipts in there. And then it has two zip compartments at the top. So they're going in opposite directions so you can either have change in here receipts so i don't have anything in here at the moment i mean if i have change then i probably would put it in there and then the front section i just keep my cards gift cards my rewards cards that sort of thing in there the ones that i don't grab as often as the ones that i put in the front but yeah, I think that is super cute and I just think it's the perfect size as well. So I'm kind of interchanging between this one and the Katie Loxton one because I do love that one. But when I'm carrying a black bag, I'll carry the black card holder. And then if I carry like a tan or brown bag, then I'll carry the Katie Loxton um, card holder. I'm not going to show the Katie Loxton card holder. If you do want to see it, then I will leave a link down below for my previous video where I did the unboxing and then you can see it for yourself there. I just don't want to obviously regurgitate content if somebody's already seen that previous video, then like I say, you don't want to hear about the same card holder twice. So then the last thing that I picked up is incredible when i tell you it's incredible it is incredible i literally double backed when i saw this bag and i think i even let out a little gasp when i saw this and it was the only one that i saw available at that time and i immediately went back snatched it up checked out and left and it was mine and it is this stunning bag and this bag is from new look the reason why I gravitate so much towards this is I absolutely love the style of the Louis Vuitton Alma BB bag. This just gives me Alma BB vibes. I mean, the shape of it is so similar. And the thing that I love about it as well is obviously it's got the crossbody strap. Usually, I would not have this strap on the bag. But obviously now that I'm a mother, I do find a crossbody strap to be extremely handy so you can obviously take it off for anyone that doesn't want to have the crossbody strap on and I actually saw a woman walking in town the other day and she had this bag without the crossbody strap and when I saw her carrying it you know when you see a woman carrying a really nice bag and you're instantly like and you just like hone in on the bag I still honed in on the bag even though I own it myself that's how gorgeous this handbag is and I just feel really fancy when I wear it so it's really simple it's faux black leather and it has this really sweet little print on the front it's kind of just like interlocking rings all the way over the front and it has gold hardware everywhere and then it's got these two structured top handles that obviously do drop if you aren't holding them and then, oh, I have one black glove in there for some reason. So it's just one big open compartment and then it just has like a little slip pocket at the back. And you can fit a ton of stuff in this bag. I really, really love this bag. This is a very bougie on a budget bag for sure. And let me show you up close the pattern on the front because it is gorgeous. So simple, but so effective. 
it is stunning yeah so there's not really too much more to say about this bag other than i'm absolutely in love with it so that is it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed watching i certainly enjoyed picking up all of these phenomenal pieces i'm so in love with everything that i picked up recently i think this collective haul there's some really amazing bits in there and like i say i'm a sucker for accessories jewelry and bags and card holders they're probably my weak spot i'm starting to get more into clothes now as well but i'm definitely a handbag lover through and through and speaking of handbags i actually have another bag from dh gate coming um it should be here maybe in the next couple of weeks so please do leave me a comment down below and let me know do you want me to do a dh gate unboxing and we can unbox the bag together and just a hint it's lv so fingers crossed, I hope that it comes and I really, really like it. So that is everything for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Remember to check out my previous video if you do want to see the Katie Loxton card holder. There's also a conversation about a potential giveaway. Also, if you do want to know about that, then head on over and check that video out. It will be down in the description box below. And remember to let me know if you do want me to do the DH Gate unboxing. I'm probably going to do it anyway, but I would like to know if you want me to do it. So either leave me a comment or give this video a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it anyway. It would be really nice of you if you did. I would really appreciate it. And I just wanted to say I hope that you are having an amazing day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. And like always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.